Hi, I'm Lisa Arch, here to talk to you about Strange Wilderness, a movie about wildlife, travel, and the beast within us all. By the way, I'm feeding a lion with a bottle, so suck it. Trust me, the first time I kick someone in the throat, it ain't gonna be a man, it's gonna be a girl. Hi, Steve. Hi. How are ya? Cold. It's frickin' cold, isn't <laughs> it's it? It's freezing. It's cold, and there's a capuchin monkey behind us. Where? Don't look, because it will kill you. <laughs> it will. Yeah, look at you it. wanna not make eye contact, you wanna just look toward the cameras. Don't look at the monkey, you will die. The monkeys are funny. They are funny, aren't they? <laughs> oh. oh, yeah, see, don't. So, Steve, let's talk about your movie, Strange Wilderness, shall we? All right. You play a guy whose father was like a wilderness show yeah. famous. Yeah. Yeah. Like he had like the, it's equivalent to the, like the 70s, like uh, you can't think Mutual of one show of Omaha's like... Wild Kingdom. Right. With the guy. What's his name? Lauren Green? No, no is that a different that's an guy? actor. <laughs> They don't really bury their heads in the sand. But it was pretty good. And then I took it over, and I think it's great. Right. But my producers don't. No. Holy crap, no one told me the thing got that close. That's what they did, they snuck up on us. I'm scared of that thing right now. Are you really? Don't be scared, honey. I'm here for you. I'm just pretending it's not back there. So, um, Peter, Alan. Hi. Hi. How are you? Hi, Lisa. Good, how are you? I'm doing well. So this movie, Strange Wilderness. Yes. I saw it. Yes. You're in it. Yes. What's the plot? <laughs> <laughs> um, Anybody? Okay, so we have a wildlife show called Strange Wilderness uh -huh. that Zahn inherited from his father, uh, but we suck. Lynn, who's the head of the network, as he should be. Sure. You know, he cancels us, but he gives us a two-week window. Which every Which, executive does. There's the plot. Yes. We have two weeks to save the show. <laughs> right. So what do we do? We go find Joe Don Baker, the original Walking Tall, and he sells us a map. So you are off to find a Bigfoot-ish type character. No, and big, the actual Bigfoot. Actual Bigfoot. Do you believe in Bigfoot? Yes. Do you? No. Do you? Yes. <laughs> okay. That's what I thought. You kind of a, a wacky crew that you assemble. Well, um... Um, yeah, no, they're, they're not, they, yeah, they're just idiots. Idiots. Yeah. Seriously, I can't move. Stop, Jonah. I mean, seriously. Oh, no. So tell me a, bit, a little bit about your, your characters. You're sort of the guy that will do anything to get a good shot. Yeah, and I'm also a pretty sweet RV driver. Yeah, he's the oh, driver. He's right. our driver. Right. They send... Not quite a teamster, but I'm, I'm kind of the all-around sound guy, semi-producer. You also write some copy. Yeah, you know, when if we're out at the bar the night before, we'll scribble down some notes about what we think the animals are and what you think they are. No, yeah. the facts are right. Well, it's not like we're in the library doing research. We're no. at the bar. It doesn't seem like anyone in the crew actually knows what they're doing. Right. Yeah. I'm just the animal expert, so I don't have any time for technical things. But ironically, not an expert at all. You have no idea what you're talking about. No. Right. You'll say things like birds um, can fly. Sharks are from the northern and southern hemisphere. You know, like just crazy. <laughs> right. During the movie, you get to see our footage of like 1972 footage of yeah. like seals and then our <laughs> your horrible voiceover which was spectacular so steve there yeah. is now a capuchin monkey on capuchin my lap capuchin monkey correct i'm terrified i'm just i'm scared but let's keep talking as if nothing's happening and a monkey's not chewing on my sweatshirt and now some monkey trivia with steve so i'm going to ask you some capuchin monkey facts okay. what substance does a capuchin monkey soak its hands and feet in to mark its territory? Close. Other Piss. hole. Very nice. Take a seat. Over here? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Me too. Uh, you are? Fred. Fred. I feel like Doug Henning, you know, the magician. Have you guys ever tried to poop and brush your teeth at the same time? Hard.
So, Justin, don't look behind you. There's a giant bear. Shut up. I swear to God. No, it's lower. It's lower. No, if you look like oh, right, yes. Yeah. There it is. Is that a bear or? I think it's a bear. I'm and by bear, you mean animal, not large, hairy gay man. Right. Right? Right. Just to clarify for the audience at <laughs> right. home. I mean the actual animal. Right. All right, so, Justin, <laughs> uh, this movie, Strange Wilderness. Yeah. I saw it. Pretty you strange. Were in it. What's the plot? Ooh, can, yeah. you, can we start with uh, easier? And you play sort of, and I don't want to put like, you know, your character in any sort of a box, but you play sort of like a stoner. Ah, uh, that's unfair. It's really unfair. I, I would say, I wouldn't say I was a stoner. Okay. I'd say a guy who smokes so much pot mm -hmm. that he doesn't know ever what day of the week it is. Right. But it's unfair to label him a stoner. You're absolutely right. I just I think he's, he's more of a guy who relies on weed to function. What kind of crazy research did he have to do to get inside the mind of someone who does uh, smoke a lot of the weed? I called, as I always do, uh, Daniel Day-Lewis, and he said, you should just uh, smoke a ton of weed. And I said, well... Sage advice. Well, if Daniel Day-Lewis is going to do it, I know that joke wasn't funny. I know. You don't have to rub it in. Don't anger the bear. Um, the bear's like, I don't like method acting jokes. Okay, now I'm starting to get genuinely... Can you give me another marshmallow for a second? <laughs> Thank you. Okay. In this movie... Yes. It's really, it's an ensemble piece... Yes, it is. ...with a lot of guys. Oh, a lot of testosterone. A lot of Tons testosterone. Tons of dudes. But then there's one hot chick. Heck yeah. Yeah. What's up with that? What does she do? Who is she? She's our travel coordinator. Right. She's going to be our liaison. Right. She speaks Spanish, apparently. Yeah. Because... She did. Right. Well, when it comes to us, all of us, the other seven or six, <laughs> right. we're not the sharpest tools in the shed, so we need the girl, the hot. hot. Hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> so you're like the hot, smart, funny chick in a sea of uh, uh, stupid, unshaven men. Dirty, in this movie. smelly. Filthy. Yeah. What was that like? Cheryl's the really hot one. She's my character, you know. Right. It was hard. I went and bought the suit. And, um, the Cheryl yeah, suit? The Cheryl suit. Yeah. She's got big knockers. <laughs> She's um, really intelligent. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it was tough being around those guys. Give me a brief overview of what the plot is. I have no idea. Yeah. Are you ready for the plot question yet, or it's still too yeah, complicated? Yeah, hit me. All right, what's, uh, what's the plot of this movie? Okay. Uh, you know what, I think this is sort of what the plot is. Okay. He's describing He's it a lot He's describing it. Let's listen. Uh-huh. So I play a guy who... Right, smokes a lot of weed. Oh, okay. And um, Steve Zahn plays a guy who... Right, has his own... I was getting to that. Has his own nature show, right. which is failing in the ratings. And so in order to save our show, um, I, along with the rest of the crew, um, we go in search of... Bigfoot, exactly. And now, some bear trivia with Justin. How far away can a dead animal be from a grizzly bear for the bear to still be able to smell it? I have a question for you. Okay. How close does a bear have to be to me right. for me to instantly defecate myself? I'm going to say, I'm going to say about a foot. Yep. Yep. Right. A quick question. Last time you fed the tiger? <clears throat> See you there. I almost got you, huh? <laughs> hey, where's Mama Turkey? Oh, there she is. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! Well, I think it's one of the most moving scenes in the movie <laughs> where you have a little incident with the turkey. Yeah, when I read that, I was like, do I do this? <laughs> <laughs> and then what was the turning point that made you say yes? I thought, man, this is either going to be really funny or really suck. <laughs> and I and like then, walking that edge, you know? Yes, yes, it's a dangerous comedy edge to walk. No one's listening. No, they're just watching the monkey. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you play the sun. I just felt that in the back of my neck. I was like, oh. <laughs> you play the That's what death too. sounds like. And so you said, yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll shove my member right. in a turkey's... And animatronic. Turkey. Right. Ernest Borgnine. How did that happen? Was he fun? Was he funny? He was great. He was very funny. 
I hope when I'm, what is he, 88? I'm serious, I think he's 88. Probably around that. Hysterical. Hey, we got Ernest Borgnine <laughs> to be in the movie, and I'm like, how'd you do that? And they go, we just we don't know. sent him the script, and he came and did it. Ernest Borgnine, I remember him saying, Ernie's the name, Acton's my game. No, he did He not. did, actually. You are a liar. No, he did. That guy's 90. Yeah, that's spectacular. Trust me, he was on the set before this guy. Right. <laughs> oh, he was, yeah, definitely more on time than I was. And why is that? Substance problem? He was a little concerned about the pod. Oh, was he really? He was like, I don't want to send the wrong message. Come on, Ernest. Like, he's like the trendsetter for all the kids out there. <laughs> Ernest smokes. Ernest, Ernest was in a movie where they smoke. I'm gonna. <laughs> Dad, Magnificent Seven, you're a hero. Right. <laughs> I know something about you, a little trivia. Jonah Hill, who appears in this movie, yes. you used to be his roommate? Jonah and I were uh, hetero life mates Aww. for a while. Dude, you want to hear a tune I wrote? Yeah, man. Now, I'm still, I'm still working through the kinks, so uh, if you feel emotional, though, just let it happen. All right. You know? All right. Mm. Jonah plays Cooker, who's like our PA. Right. And uh, production assistant. For production those of you who assistant. Don't know, sorry, who sorry. Yeah. Part of the biz. Sorry, sorry. So uh, he's getting you coffee, doing that. But he's uh, also... actually no. He's mostly burning ants with magnifying glasses, and right. He's always standing in front of a pile of luggage that's supposed to be on the truck, claiming Slow. it's already on. God. I don't know what's going on behind me, but I see trainers moving in yeah. close. Yeah. Is everything okay? <laughs> and now some tiger trivia with Dante. Which um, continent are tigers native to? Oh, and by the way, I should mention, if you get the answer wrong, you'll be mauled. Asia. Oh my god, you're right. I heard that actually you were only supposed to work on the, the, the film a couple days, but then you were so adorable <laughs> that they kept you on for longer. Showing my boobs. <laughs> What kind of animal would you be? Ooh. Yeah. <clears throat> if I couldn't be a dolphin. You could be a dolphin. I, then you know what? I'd be a dolphin. Why? That's true. Actually, because that's a good you can one. jump in and out of the waves, surf them, jump back out of oh. the waves, swim around. I'm Purple. already thinking I'm a dolphin right now, so it's good. <laughs> I'm taking off my jacket because I'm getting ready to show you what kind of animal oh, I would okay. be. Oh, okay. Yeah. I would be a goat. <laughs> Look at what's happening Yellow. here. Because you have to respect the goat. Respect Why do you have to respect the goat? You because you do. To. You have to respect If you the knew goat. the goat, you would know. They're you guys know. Animals, aren't they? No, no, they just want to eat and poop. A hawk. Oh, why? Oh, I don't know. Is this one of those oh, things like, know. the first animal is the one no, there's that no, people think you are. I have no one psychological is, reasons for asking you this at all. If, uh, that. That uh, gazelle. If I would be um, a, a, a magical <gasps> sort of Unicorn. Oh, that's awesome. And this is appropriate because if you could be killed by any animal, if your death had to be death by animal, right. what would you choose? Bear. But not the animal, the... The gay man. The gay man. Like in yes, five exactly. seconds. Sweet. And you have to be killed by an animal. What animal do you want to be killed by? Oh, a giant gorilla. Sure. I was going to say that. Yeah, anyway. yeah. You know why? Because, like, look, first of all, right. this guy would jump down here and... That would be it. Right. One swipe, head's gone, yes. few maulings, boom, whatever. Yeah. A gorilla would literally rip me apart with his hands. Really kind chipmunk. You know, it gives me so, too much Demerol. Uh, hawk. <laughs> it would take a week. <laughs> that would take so you would long. You would starve to death before. <laughs> Marshmallow taken out of my mouth by a freaking grizzly bear. OK. Or walk right out yep. to it. Go ahead. Oh my God. <laughs> For Comedy Central. Get me the f out of here. <laughs>